Hello everyone, welcome to Maths. So if you all are fine, so let's start our today's class. Today we are going to solve logical reasoning question from class 8. And you know we will solve one question paper from uh, 2019 to 20 from International Maths Olympiad. And the questions will solve from Indian Talent Olympiad. India is one of the leading Olympiad conducting organization. So if you want to know more about Indian Talent Olympiad, kindly visit their website. The link of the website has been given in the description. And if you want to see the solution of more questions, more IMO questions log from logical reasoning, mathematical reasoning, higher order thinking skill, kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell notification for the updates. Okay, so at first I want to share with you the sample paper list. You know, Indian Talent Olympiad have organized their uh, website in a nice way. So you will get all the information very easily. So how can you get the sample papers, class-wise sample papers very easily that I am going to share with you. Okay, so let's see it. So you see the, on their website, you will get the class-wise sample papers of Mass Olympiad. You know, just you have to click on the link. Click on the class button to check the class-wise sample papers of IMO. And here is the link of their website. Just click on the link and you will get the all the details of their website and whenever you see the sample papers you will get a clear idea about what type of questions appears in the olympiad exam okay so now let's solve our first question our first question is from logical reasoning and from class 8 so at first try to solve this so dear students did you get your answer now let's check the answer with me so here you see it is the number series and we have four options and we have to find out which one is the correct answer. Okay. So here you see our first number is 261, then 423, then 747, then 1494 and the next one we have to find out. So whenever you get this series type questions, always find out what is the relation between the numbers. Okay. There is and which operation we have to do. So sometimes additions, so multiplication, division or subtraction, whatever. At first, what we have to do? Hmm? So at first, what we have to do? Now, the next. Now, the thing is that whenever you can, can't find any way, just remember this thing that always find out the differences. Sometimes you will find in the pattern in differences also. Okay. So let's find out the differences first. So it's 261 and 423. So what is the difference between these two number? Is 162. This is the difference. Now let's find out the difference between next two numbers. Okay. So it's 423 and 747. So what is the difference between these two number? Is 324. Okay. Now 747 and 1494. What is the difference between these two number? is 747 now we have to find out the next number did you find anything here did you find any pattern here you see our difference is 162 then 324 then 747 did you find anything now let me show you what is the pattern is showing here you see our first number is 261 Whenever you reverse this number, 261, you will get 162. See? Now, the next is 423. Whenever you reverse this number, you will get 324. Now, the next number is 747. So, whenever you reverse this number, you will get 747 itself. Okay? So, you can see that the first number is 261. We reverse this number and then we add this number that means 261 with 162 and we'll get 423 the next number so to get the next number again what we have to do we will again reverse 423 as 324 and we add 423 and 324 and we'll get the next number we get we got the next number is 747 c now the next is we reverse 747 and it's 747 now we will add 747 and 747 you see is 1494 this is the next number so now what we have to do 
let's reverse this number 1494 and it's becomes 4941 okay 4941 now we will add this two to get the next number so it's 1494 plus 4941 and it's 6435 okay and here you see we have four option and then the option b is 6435 so this would be our answer we got our answer okay is answer b so whenever you get this series type questions sometimes you will find out your answer in this way also so now let's move on to the next question okay so at, this is our next question so at first try to solve this so dear students did you get your answer now let's check the answer with me here our question is pointing to a photograph a lady tells to punish so here is a lady and this L1 represents lady. Okay. A lady tells permission. Here P, P represents permission. That I am the only daughter of this lady. This lady, this lady means L2. Okay. So she pointing a photograph. She is pointing in this photograph L2. And she tells permission that she is the only daughter of L2. Got it? Now... And her son is your matern maternal uncle. So her son is here S. And S represents L2 sons. Okay. And son, this S is the maternal uncle of P. Maternal uncle of P. Okay. Now our question is how is speaker related to Parmish's father? That we have to find out. Okay. So now you can see that S is l2's son so that and s is p's maternal uncle that means l1 is the sister and s is the brother brother and sister okay now we have to find out how is the speaker that means l1 is related to parmish's father so parmish father is here if represent parmish father so we have to find out l1 how to relate it if it's very easy l1 is nothing but p's mother p's mother because her brother is parmish maternal uncle that means m l1 is nothing but p's mother okay so he so that means f and m how related m is f's wife their husband and wife is husband and its wife so that means m is f's wife so how is the relation between f and m their husband and wife so we got our answer is wife okay because our question is how is speaker related to parmish father c is his wife okay so we have four options here a b c d and in the option b you can see it's wife so this is our answer we got our answer so option b is the right one okay so how are the two questions? Hope you enjoyed a lot because both the questions are really very nice. So whenever you get the blood relation type questions, well, like the, our previous question, always make a family tree. Always make, always do the question in a visualized way because visualization is very important. Whenever you make a family tree uh, uh, or something chart or diagram, you will get your answer very easily. Okay. So next day we will solve some more interesting questions on uh, any topic. But yeah, and if you want any topic, kindly comment in the comment sections. Okay, then I will make some more interesting videos for you. So meet you in our next lecture. Till then take care of yourself and bye-bye.